Mother Brother Anthony. Brother Billy, I got a new T-shirt. Something about film, camera, sound, action. You know, the operative word in that little phrase is sound for me. But wait a second, what's the scene of that? I can't read the back. What's the scene back there? I'm a totally film critic day. Wow. Film critic day. She's just pretty nice. Except that Member Toll always put that little thing on there. And said, I don't know, they, they should have a circle or something or an oval, I don't know. But I'm not complaining. Actually, it's not my T-shirt. It's my woman's T-shirt. I didn't steal it from her. I just bought it. You know, I'm not perpetrating a fraud. I know a lot about film. See, the thing is, she got the reason why she got the T-shirt it's because, you know, the whole crew, I mean, they think that little llamas filming them, some, some film they're doing, some little film. And they cast her <laughs> as basically like a gangster, like Shabin owner. Now, <clears throat> now you know my woman, but you don't actually know her. She actually, it's like typecasting. She actually is gangster. <laughs> she's, she's the best. Anyway, the point is, it, it was easy for her to slip into the role. But then, you know, I've been thinking, that's the problem, that especially, uh, for lack of a better term, because I don't know how to put this, but especially with black people uh, in the world, in this modern world, it's, it's this whole, you know, the media, the, the modern media, uh, let me just stay with the United States, go ahead to the United States, I'm not going to deal with South Africa or the rest of the world, but you always see these images of black people doing like, just whatever. And so what happens in the mind of people, you know, to forget like the masses of black people, you know, they keep on looking at these stereotypes. So everybody has to fit into a stereotype. And, 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 and they don't actually call it stereotypes. I think, I mean, saying, I, I've used this word before. It's one of those big academic words, archetype. It's really an archetype. You, know, you have an archetype and then you fit into that until somebody comes along and really shatters that archetype. Then, you know, that remains. The problem is when black people come along and they shatter an archetype, usually it's to their own detriment. Not their own detriment, but the best way I can put it, like take somebody like uh, Nicki Minaj or, or, or Rihanna, popular singers. I'm leaving Beyonce out of this for a second. Because they come from the Caribbean and their sense of body and self is a little different than the Western or the European sense. So basically they're bringing their world into the popular culture. So when they're shaking their behinds or, or wearing scant of the chat thing, for them, it's I mean, have you ever, ever been to Trinidadian Carnival? Mm -hmm. Brazilian Carnival? Ooh. Talk about sex. So these people have a different, you know, so when they get into the into the American culture, for instance, they're not identified as, you know, they might say, people might understand they're from the Caribbean or from another culture outside of the States, but for them, they're still black. And it's like, so now they objectify all black females all over the world from that thing. And so now when a, when a, when a person looks at that, that's all they see. Oh, that's, 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 it must be, everybody must be like that. So you got some little girl walking down the street and, you know, she gets objectified. All that stuff. So it's just, these archetypes, is this dangerous. But the problem is they keep on coming. It's just, they never stop. You know, and no matter how many uh, 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 astronauts, you know, um, that the black and female astronauts that, that uh, you know, that make it, or some scientists or whatever, or mathematician, or, or even other kind of cultural workers, you know, are up there, they still, they're ignored because the, 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 the modern media gives you this onslaught of, of, of this of this objectifications, of this buffooneries, or whatever you want to call it, that's negative. And so, there's, not, there's nothing you can do, I mean, nothing we can do, but I think what we need to do is just, I say go through it, keep on going. Go, to, go so far out that the objectification no longer holds. But the problem with that is, they'll just keep on with the most images, most images, you know, and, and, and so well, Anyway, but let me just put it this way. Bless the the racing car drivers and the and the and the you know and the golfers and even Serena and Venus Williams, you know, in sports, you know, they're objectified. They say, okay. Well bless those people who can't be objectified, let's put it that way. And we'll keep on going. 
I mean, my, let me put this way. Let me just do this one last thing. I know I'm rambling, but I, this thing just 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 been running around my head for the last three days, you know. Because uh, D'Angelo has a new album. Um, this singer, you know, it's called Black Messiah, and you know he was objectified with his with his with his uh, with one of his albums, his voodoo albums, you know, because he had this did this, this, this um, um, really sexy um, uh, what do you call that video. You know, he had his top off and his all, you know, six packed and all the rest of that stuff. So he's objectified. You know, so, so but, but now he's come up with this Black Messiah, which which has a lot of positive messages. And I doubt if he's going to do a video like that again. So that's the way you do it. Maybe you catch the, you you you, you take the stereotype, and then you go someplace else with it. In other words, as you got the fan base, then you take your fans someplace else. There's a good strategy. I'm sure it's going to be employed. But anyway, but this is one of these. A dispatch from the arch director of murders. That would be me, T, for the Patterson's taking the train to the bed. Let you know exactly what I suspect. <laughs>